all right welcome back guys so in this one we are going to look at ionic folder structure okay and i just want to say before we get started that you don't have to be intimidated by what you see on this part of the um, um visual studio code editor okay so but let me just do a quick run through so in case you're new to visual studio code editor right this is where the files and the folders are located so this tab here this explorer tab if i click on it it will collapse if i click on it one more time it will open up okay so if you ever close this tab all you just need to do is to click on it and it will open up all right so this is the folder this is the name of the folder my first app and this is everything inside the folder okay all of these files here make up the ionic application that we see opened in the browser so what is important in all of this there are so many files but what i want you to pay attention to is this src folder src which actually stands for source and i'm going to click on it and it will open up and show me several files inside of it all of these files are not important what is important is the assets sorry the app and the assets okay so if i click on the app you see here immediately that we have this home okay this home is actually our home page and all of this you know other files here we're going to come to this later okay so um like i said the home is our home page and let's come to the next one here assets so i'm going to click on the assets to open it up and as you can see we have icon and this shapes.svg okay so subsequently we're going to create um a folder inside of this asset um, folder and that's where we're going to store things like images and files and all of that so essentially the assets folder is where we store images files videos and whatever we want to you know put on our application okay all right so those are the main things i want to talk about subsequently we are going to talk about all of this app um app dot component app dot you know and all of this app component ts app module ts files okay but for now we don't need to you know bother ourselves about it so basically that's how the ionic folder structure is now there's something we've not done we've not added cordova on this application so this is just a pure ionic application subsequently we're going to add cordova and we're going to add the android platform and we're going to when we do that we're going to have more folders okay but remember let me do a quick recap what is important is our src folder and then inside of it we have the app folder and the assets folder when we open the app folder we see here that we have our home page so if i click on this home page you see here that we have anytime you click on like a page right there are a specific number of files that you will see inside of that page so one two three four five six okay so home.page.ts up till this first one here okay and in the next lecture we are going to start editing the home page okay so i don't want to you know pack too much events on one particular lecture all right so thank you so much and see you in the next one